Hey, welcome back. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you another way and I think a uh, better and uh, the correct way of how to deploy a Laravel project in, the, in a shared uh, hosting account. So uh, basically what we previously had to do, and I also have a video on this uh, in my channel, uh, is to go inside our public uh, folder and copy all of this, uh, all of the folders and files in the public uh, folder, and uh, move them into the into the root uh, folder of your uh, directory of your project. And after this, we would have to go inside our index and uh, change uh, this into say whatever you want. You know, uh, if you if you deploy it in a certain uh, folder or anything like this. So basically it was a kind of a workaround uh, around the, the problem, uh, around the, the problem of how to successfully and uh, correctly deploy uh, the project. So right now I'm going to show you the, the correct way on how to do this via the HD access uh, files. So inside our public .htaccess uh, file, uh, this is basically tells the server on uh, how to act and uh, where to go in order to launch the, the application. So what we need to do is this. We need to do like uh, to add uh, the the actual uh, directory of where uh, we need the this. Uh, um, uh, where the server will will look in order to deploy your app and uh, display your views and the in uh, your pages so in here you can write directory index yes and will uh, uh, this will be inside our public uh, inside here we need to go inside this file so it will be inside our public dot uh, not dots uh, sorry slash uh, index dot uh, php and also in here, you need to add public slash index.php. Uh, okay, we can save this. We can exit this. And now let's open the containing folder. And we can cut this and go into our root uh, directory and paste it here. What else should we do now? We can exit this in here uh, i'm going to choose every everything i'm going to add to an archive and then i'm going to call uh, in a zip uh, file in here i'm going to fast forward word it uh, for you okay that's uh, done and uh, what else should we do we need to go into our uh, server right here into your file manager and inside your public uh, html I'm going to upload uh, this file. Okay, where is the? Let's select uh, the file. Where? Okay, there it is. We can uh, choose the the zip folder, and uh, uh, we can upload it right now. I'm going to fast forward it for you also here. You don't need to see this stuff. <laughs> okay well this is the uh, uploading uh, we can go inside our uh, let's go back into our uh, c panel and uh, inside our uh, php version inside our select php version you need to verify that this it's at least 5.6 or 7.0 and that your pdo is uh, is uh, uh, is uh, you you selected uh, this pdo so you can do this and uh, right here you need to save it module is uh, set saved and if you have like say 5.4 or anything like this like so uh, you can uh, uh, set as current and it will uh, and it will be saved uh, properly okay this is uploaded okay we can return to the file manager inside our public html in here i'm going to extract uh, my files into the public html folder okay let's give it a couple of seconds okay this is done basically we are done but what i want you to do next is to because uh, we have changed the the 
the direction and the, of the of the folders we need to go inside our resources and views and point, and point the inside our layouts file and point it into the right direction for the for the CSS for the bootstrap CSS and the and everything else so let's uh, edit uh, one more thing okay in here you need to verify this is public before you had uh, this one you had it like so sorry like so and you need to verify it's uh, it's in public public slash CSS and let's uh, save it I didn't uh, actually change anything but uh, okay so in here when I refresh basically it should work let's give it a couple of seconds and as you can see the project has, uh, has deployed uh, very nicely and now it's actually the correct way of deploying a Laravel project on a shared uh, hosting uh, server so I, uh, I hope you, you find it uh, useful if you do you can uh, leave a comment you can like it share it uh, whatever you want so uh, i'll see you on the next video bye bye